up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. This, of course, is another episode of sitting alone in an unfurnished room like a weirdo. So most of you have seen the video I made with Drew a couple months ago where we talked about the Jeremy Renner app. And since we made that video, a lot has happened in the world of Jeremy Renner. Firstly, just a few days after we made that video about his app, the app got shut down. Jeremy Renner himself posted this lengthy note on the app saying that he was taking down the app because there were too many trolls on the app and he was going to be giving anyone who spent money on stars, refunds, and for a second, Drew and I were like, huh? Did we do that? Did we roast this international celebrity's app so hard that he had no choice but to take it down? But then we looked into it a little bit more and it seems like there were like a whole host of other problems on the app that we didn't even touch on and it's been a long time coming. Unbeknownst to us, the app was full of trolls that were impersonating other celebrities. People were making accounts for like OJ Simpson and Casey Anthony and posting really weird stuff on the app. But worse than all that, worse than people making fake accounts for politicians and murderers murderers, and just all around spreading lies on the app, people were making fake accounts of Jeremy himself. They would make accounts where the name would be Jeremy Renner and the picture would be the exact same picture that the official Jeremy Renner was using. And since for some reason there was no like verification thing next to Jeremy Renner's name, anyone could make it look like they were the actual Jeremy Renner. And people would use these fake Jeremy Renner accounts to try to get stars from people, try to convince people to give them their stars because they would think that they were the actual Jeremy Renner, which is fucked up. Because as we all know, the only person who deserves stars is the real Jeremy Renner. No one else should be getting stars. So anyway, instead of implementing a policy where you can't make your name Jeremy Renner and you can't make your picture the same as the actual Jeremy Renner, he just deleted the whole app. He just got rid of the whole ass app, tossed the whole thing in the garbage. It's no good anymore. Ooh, stinky, stinky app, no good. Apparently it doesn't take much trouble for someone who's worth $50 million to be like, you know what, this is more trouble than it's worth. I'm not even making that much money. I'm just gonna delete the whole thing. Sure, it could have been a fun place for my fans to interact, but instead I had to make it one, all about money, and then two, the second that any trouble arose, I just am gonna delete the whole thing. But since that video, Jeremy also has another venture he's been working on. The Jeremy Renner Amazon Celebrity store. So I didn't realize this, but apparently Amazon has this thing called celebrity stores where they partner with certain celebrities to make curated stores full of items that are endorsed by a specific celebrity. So celebrities will pick out items that fit their brand, like Post Malone has one where you can buy headphones. And then I assume what happens is that the celebrity involved in the store gets a cut of the revenue for all of the items that are sold on the store. So it's like a mutually beneficial thing for them and Amazon. And it turns out that Jeremy Renner has just started one. They've got all of Jeremy's favorite stuff in here. Jeremy's favorite fishing pole, Jeremy's favorite knife, Jeremy's favorite trunk, his favorite food, which apparently is beef jerky and trail mix. So if you had any doubt in your mind that Jeremy Renner was a real man's man, the only products he endorses are camping equipment, and the only food he eats are beef jerky and trail mix. You can use this store to be just like Jeremy. Eat the nuts that Jeremy eats. Sleep in the tent that Jeremy sleeps in. Wear the clothes that Jeremy Renner wears. The clothes on Amazon that Jeremy Renner definitely has worn and endorses. He may be worth $50 million, but he totally buys all of his clothes from Amazon and, and recommends Amazon clothing. Everything on this store just gives off like a weird off-putting vibe. Like all of the pictures of Jeremy Renner they use. He's tending to a fire and looking into the camera with that sultry gaze that Jeremy Renner is known for. I don't know what's got more smolder to it, that fire or the look in Jeremy's eyes. Here he's got some binoculars and looking kind of creepily into the camera. In general, the whole store gives off this vibe of like Jeremy Renner trying to act really cool, but it just reeking of like corporate sponsor I went and looked at some of the reviews for the products in this store and a lot of them are pretty funny This person rated the fishing rod five stars, but their review says Jeremy. Are you disappointed in me? Why does Jeremy look like he's disappointed in the homepage? He's disappointed I didn't catch the fish on the first try angry that I'm taking forever lighting the fire and just overly disappointed in the fact for a moment I thought I could have been as cool as him by buying these products. Okay, here's another similar review for the fishing rod This person gave it four stars. I have not purchased this product, which is Always a good way to start a review of a product by admitting that you've never used it 
or even seen it in person. But I just want to say how sad the Jeremy Renner store is. Really look at him. So bad and so sad. I bet he never uses any of the stuff they're selling. But I do think he does high-end real estate, which is pretty smart and cool. Minimal loss if the economy turns south, and a better investment than middle to low class real estate. But he has a ton of money, so I bet I could never go into that. Anyways, forgot my point, but this store is a shame, and Mr. Renner should be embarrassed. I'd say that those reviews are a pretty accurate assessment of the Jeremy Renner store. It's weird to see someone so famous trying so hard to make money in the most corporate ways possible. Like making an app where the only thing you can do is pay him money, like doing this weird a celebrity Amazon store endorsing products that he's definitely never used. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what Jeremy Renner's been up to lately. That's the only weird thing he's been doing. He hasn't been doing anything else weird. Other than that, he's been living a pretty normal life with his family, and he hasn't been doing anything weird or creepy, and he definitely seems like a great well-adjusted man. Jeremy Renner's ex-wife claims he threatened to kill her. Jeremy Renner bit his daughter. Yep, nothing weird. He's not doing anything weird. He's just living his normal life and camping a lot. <laughs> Those articles do kind of make the camping supplies seem a little bit less Fun. Yeah, this whole list of stuff really seems a lot more suspicious after reading those articles. Like, what is he planning on doing with these bow and arrows? And who is he planning on watching with these binoculars? Jeremy Renner's life has really been in kind of a downward spiral ever since his app got shut down. Jeez. I didn't think it'd take that much of a toll on the guy. Anyway, after I was done researching the Jeremy Renner store, I started falling down all these rabbit holes of weird products that are on Amazon, and holy shit, there's a lot of weird products on Amazon. Okay, now here's a really fun product. The Casual Daddle Saddle. Uh, yeehaw? More like knee haw More like ye naw Cause what the fuck is this? I don't think that this is what the song Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy was about. Look at this poor dad, dude. He looks so embarrassed. He's been conquered by a three-year-old girl who really seems to be enjoying herself. I'll give him that. The girl seems to be having a, a jolly good time, but the dad, he's so ashamed he doesn't even want to show his, his face. His cowboy face. His cow face. So in case you couldn't tell, this product is just a saddle to put on your dad so you can ride him around. I don't know who this would be a gift for. Like, is it a gift for the kid or a gift for the dad? Seems like a pretty mean gift to get your dad. But a lot of the reviews say like, this is a great gift for Father's Day. No, it's not. Hey dad, for Father's Day, I'm gonna break your fucking back. How's that? I'm gonna ride you around for hours. Happy Father's Day. The customer question and answer section of this product are out of control. Would this be suitable for a toy rocking horse? This product is best used what it is meant for. A dad. Though I'd imagine a rocking horse or whatever would be fine. But like, it's meant for dads. What the fuck? Why so unnecessarily mean? <laughs> also like, a rocking horse. It's like you've never heard of one before. Oh, I'm sure you're little, what was it again? A rocking horse. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be fine for that. Don't rocking horses already have seats on them? Or like a place for the kid to sit? I mean, I guess a dad does too. The saddle seems pretty unnecessary for any circumstance. It's not that hard to just grab onto your dad. It just mostly seems demeaning meaning to strap this thing onto your dad. Someone else answered the same question. No! Only for uncle. I mean, that's just not true. This is a daddle saddle. I'm sure you could put it on an uncle, but he has to be a dad. You can't put it on an uncle with no kids. It wouldn't work. It's only compatible with dads. Oh good, there's the police version. Yeah, the, the police costume doesn't actually come with this. Uh, it seems like the only reason that this is a police officer saddle is because it comes in Sheriff Blue. Ooh, wow. Sheriff Blue. Why do the dads in these pictures never look happy? Or even kind of enthusiastic about what's going on? He looks like he's having an existential crisis. He looks like his midlife crisis started right when this picture was taken. Oh, cool. You can dress like a knight, too, and your dad will still want to die. That's awesome. I have to give him some credit, though. This is some really realistic advertising. They're really managing your expectations with this product and letting you know who's going to be the one enjoying it. Have you ever wanted to give your kids the ultimate horseback ride? <laughs> of course you have. Well, now you can, thanks to the casual daddle set. Just strap it on and take your kids for a ride. Your kids will love feeling like they're strapped to a real horse because you smell like shit. You smell like a horse. Your kids can dress up like a cowboy, a mounted police officer, a princess, or a knight in shining armor. And you can dress up like a fucking horse. Your kids will love feeling like they're riding a real horse, whether it be through the jungle or on an old dirt road. And you... 
will not have a good time. You will not like this product. You will not have fun. You're gonna hate your wife forever for getting you this as a gag gift and resent your kids for making you use it. So call today and become a fucking horse. Okay, finally, here's one where the dad is actually enthusiastic about what's going on. He's actually happy to be playing with his daughter. But now I feel like he's having way too much fun. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I take back what I said before. You d you should not be having this much fun using the daddle. This dude is getting a creepy amount of joy from crawling around on the floor. All the fun stuff is happening up here. There shouldn't really be anything cool or interesting going on down here. It should mostly just be tiring and painful what's going on down here. You definitely shouldn't be open mouth laughing about just crawling around on the floor. So this one is called the Pony Up Daddy Saddle, which feels like a really condescending thing to say to your dad. Pony up, daddy. He's like, doesn't pony up mean to like settle your debts or you know, pay what you owe someone? Pony up, daddy. You owe me the ride of my life. You owe me the health of your lower back. Pony up, bitch. It's time for me to strap a saddle to you and ride you like a fucking horse. Pony up, daddy. Oh good, there's a commercial for the pony up, daddy. Let's check it out. Pony, 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 pony up, daddy. Pony up, daddy. Oh great, I'm glad that they're giving kids that command when they want the dad to put on the saddle. It's not just, daddy, can we play the game where you're the horse? Like kids are gonna walk into the room and be like, pony up, daddy. Pony up, daddy is a fun saddle that fits your dad just right. <laughs> <laughs> he looked so defeated when he got down on all fours. Like, this is really what my life has come to. Got his head down and everything. Just, oh, fuck this again. You can have a pony ride anytime, day or night. Don't worry, Mom. You can pony up, too. Oh, shit. The pony up daddy works on mommies, too? You don't even have to get a pony up mommy? This is awesome. What, what's next? It's gonna work on uncle? You can pony up, too. With pony up daddy. Oh, shit, daddy. Throw it back. This daddy's throwing it back. Pony up, daddy. Oh, god damn. Pony up, daddy. <laughs> Ride an elephant on an African safari or a tiger through the thick jungle. Hop on a dinosaur to take a trip through time. Then ride your pony into the sunset. Jesus, man, how long are these kids riding their dad for? How many animals does this dad have to be before his poor old bag can rest? This kid is taking him on a fucking trek. They're going on a journey together. Pony, daddy, pony. Simply wrap. Why does that dad look like he was looking at something sus on his phone? He's looking at his phone and his kid comes up and he's like, Oh, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yep, I'll do that. I'll pony up. Don't ask what I was looking at. Kids climb on the saddle and grab the handle and hang on. Pony, 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 no more stretched shirts, and no more broken jewelry. God damn, these kids are brutal, just fucking choking their dads. You don't need to worry about jewelry getting pulled out or your collar getting stretched, because the Pony Up Daddy comes with a bit to put in your dad's fucking mouth so you can pull that shit when he's getting out of line. It's time to play with your kids again. Oh shit, it's time to play with my kids again. I gotta go. I gotta go play with my kids again. Okay, I'm starting to like it. I like the idea of getting off the couch and getting off your electronics and playing with your parents, but I feel like we could go even bigger. Just riding one dad, that's lame. And kids these days, they're resourceful. I think it'd be really cool if they started making like daddy carriages. So you could have like a carriage that you and all your friends sit in, it's got big wheels. And then there's like a group of six harnesses in the front that you strap a bunch of daddies into. So now you've got like six daddies pulling this little daddy carriage around. Now that would be cool. Taking your daddies out on a dirt road and just like, Gah! Gah, daddy! Pony up, daddy! So if the makers of Pony Up Daddy or the Daddle Saddle are watching this, feel free to use my idea. Just cut me like a 30% royalty check and we've got a deal. You could call it the Giddy Up Daddy or the Daddy Drawn Carriage. Well, I feel like it's gotten significantly darker in this room since I started filming and you know what that means. I've been filming for too long, so it's time to stop. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to support my channel, head on over to my merch store and check out some of my cool new merch. I've got hoodies that say Greg. I've got t-shirts that have a little picture of me and that guy on them. We've got Nutcracker hats. We even have little Greg necklaces now. So if you want any of those cool, cool things, head on over to dannygonzalez.store. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. We're the fastest growing army on all of YouTube. No cap, son. 
There's not a cap involved in this entire equation. Nary a cap to be found. Thank you, Melly, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where hopefully I'm not in a totally undecorated room. Bye. She called me daddy. Yeah, I ain't got no kids. But the way she talking to me, you would probably think I did. She called me daddy. Yeah, I ain't got no kids. But the way she talked to me, you'd think I'm her guardian. She called me daddy. Bitch, I got those long socks underneath my brown Crocs, drinking weed.